So I'm going to show you three different ways to create a sponge stick. Now a sponge stick is a forester clamp wrapped with the end wrap with a Raytec so that it can be used for several different reasons. One of the reasons we might do this is for absorbing a little bit of fluid that might be in the wound that we've created, maybe to apply pressure to a bleeder in the wound, or most commonly for some blunt dissection, just so we have a nice soft tip on this so that we can bluntly push some of the tissue out of the way. So we're gonna create a sponge stick that'll allow the surgeon to do this. Now we start with the Forrester sponge stick. Now I have two different sizes here, a smaller one and a larger one. I prefer the larger one. And there are three different ways to create the sponge stick. Three different ways to wrap the Raytec around the end so that it stays on there securely and it does what we need it to do for the surgeon. So for the first method, which is the most straightforward method, it's probably the fastest method to create a sponge stick, is fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take our Raytec and we're going to fold it into thirds. So we're going to fold it into one third and then a second third. So now we've got it folded into thirds. And then with the blue stripe on the outside, we're going to fold it in half long ways. Then we simply take our sponge stick and clamp it onto the Raytec. Just like that. Now notice how I've positioned the sponge in the clamp itself. There's about a centimeter of the sponge sticking out above the ends, above the tips of the clamp. That way, when it's used against the tissue, it's not pressing, the metal is not pressing against the tissue itself, but also the sponge itself is not too floppy. Now you want to be careful that you don't load it so that the metal tips are too close to the end of the Raytec like I've done here. Because then if you go to dissect against that tissue, the metal tips themselves are actually touching the tissue. And the whole idea of having the Raytec here is so you have something nice and soft, not something hard like the metal tips. So you want to keep those metal tips away from the end of this Raytec just a little bit. But you also don't want to load it so far back that the Raytec then becomes floppy against this, the tissue that you're pushing against. So you don't want this Raytec sort of floppy and around like this. So a good load is going to be maybe a centimeter or so down. It's going to look something like that. That's going to be a good load. It doesn't flop around too much and it gives you a lot of pressure that you're able to apply against that tissue. Now a second way of creating a sponge stick is going to start out very similar. What we're going to do is again fold our Raytec into thirds like this. Then we're going to turn it over making sure that the blue stripe is on the outside. We're going to lay that down and take our sponge stick and lay it into and across the middle of this folded Raytec that we have. And we're gonna take the edges and fold them up and squeeze them into, very tightly pack it down there and hold it in there with your fingers while you clamp down, wrapping the tips of the Raytec all the way around like this. Now again, the blue stripe is showing. Why do we want the blue stripe showing? Because we want it to be obvious to everybody in the room that this is indeed a Raytec, which is allowed to be used inside the body. It's not a four by four. So having that blue stripe visible to everybody makes it clear that this is indeed a Raytec and we're allowed to use it. Now one advantage to this fold is it does wrap all of the metal completely in that Raytec. So there's no metal exposed. And very importantly, we wanna check the end to make sure that there's no metal sticking out. Because if you loaded it too close to the end, then sometimes that metal could come out and when you go to press it against the tissue, the metal could actually protrude a little bit, contacting the tissue. We don't want that. We want that metal completely covered by the Raytec and that's what we have here. Now the third method of creating a sponge stick is probably my favorite. Now there's a little bit more origami involved, so it might take just a hair longer to create one of these. And if you're in a rush, maybe you don't wanna do that. But once you get a lot of practice at this, it becomes pretty quick and maybe only takes a second longer. And the advantages to this particular method is that it completely covers the metal ends of the sponge stick so that you don't have to worry about them coming out. And it looks kind of nice as well. And it's kind of fun to make. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Raytec and instead of folding it into thirds, I'm actually gonna fold it at a diagonal. And not quite a full diagonal, so this corner tip here is not gonna to quite touch this corner. It's gonna be back just a little bit, so it looks something like this. And then I'm gonna take my clamp, place it in the middle just as we did before, fold the sides over, putting them into the clamp, and then folding this top corner over and placing that into the clamp as well. And we're gonna stuff all of this into the clamp before we squeeze down, and we're gonna make a nice tight ball around the end of this clamp. Now this, 
there is no way for these tips of the metal to protrude through because we've wrapped the top as well. So this is kind of a nice sponge stick and it makes it a nice solid sponge at the end of this that we can go in all different directions as we move that tissue around or you know maybe absorb a little bit of moisture or fluid that might have gathered in the wound. Now as you start making your sponge sticks, you'll probably find that you have a preference as the one that you like to make. But also remember the amount of time that it takes to make these. Again, this one takes maybe a second or two longer than it does to take this one. And when you're in a time crunch, that can be important. But also, it's not necessarily just your preference, but it could also be the doctor's preference. Some surgeons have a preference as to the way they like their sponge sticks folded. So make sure you learn all three ways. That way, if you get one of those surgeons that likes it folded a particular way, you're able to make a nice folded sponge stick for them.